Okay, in, in this limit example, um, again, we'll try to plug in h equals 0. Notice if we do plug in h equals 0, we'll get 4 squared, which is 16, minus 16. So again, we'll get 0 on top, and clearly we're getting 0 on the bottom. So we have to do something algebraic to try to figure out what's going on here. Notice um, the only thing that I see right off the bat, at least, is there's this 4 plus h squared. So we could always cancel, or excuse me, expand that out and see if something cancels out. So again, remember this is 4 plus h times 4 plus h. So we'll get 16 plus 4h plus 4h. That'll give us plus 8h plus h squared minus 16 all over h. Well, the 16's will cancel out, and I'm left with 8h plus h in the numerator, but since they both have an h, I can factor an h out of there. Then I have 8 plus h left over, divided by h. And again, now I can cancel out my h's, and this h in the bottom is what's you know certainly giving me some problems anyway, because I'm dividing by 0. So I'm left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 8 plus h. And again, we go back to our old trick of plugging and chugging. If you plug in h equals 0, we're left with 8. And that is our solution.